This training video provides the installation steps for the Abigilon Unity H6A and H6X dome camera models. From our flagship H6A and new H6X camera lines, these cameras feature our next generation video analytics to help accelerate response times. Its modular design and multiple mounting options allow for mounting in various locations and maximum versatility. This training video will overview the surface mount option. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Abigilon website. Important safety information is detailed in the H6A and H6X dome camera installation guide. Other installations and configurations of the camera models are detailed in the installation guide. Reviewing the supplementary videos is recommended before installation of the camera. The supplementary videos cover topics for video analytic cameras such as pre-configuration, how to use grommets, configuring onboard storage, and resetting to factory default setting. Ensure the packages are intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. Reference the supplementary video or installation guide for more information on this topic. Confirm the package contains the Abigilon H6A outdoor dome camera, a mounting template sticker, cable entry grommets, an RJ45 grommet piercing cap, a pipe grommet, and a solid wall screw kit. Ensure a Phillips screwdriver, a small slotted screwdriver, a drill with bits, a wire crimping tool, and silicone sealant are available to complete the installation. These tools are not included in the package. When unboxing the camera prior to installation, note the following steps. First, the dome cover will need to be removed. Remove the dome cover by loosening the screws that fix the cover to the base using a T20 pin-in star-shaped driver. Be careful not to scratch or touch the dome bubble. The resulting marks or fingerprints may affect the overall image quality. Keep the protective covers on the outside of the dome bubble until the installation is complete. Next, remove the configuration cable by pushing down on the connectors tab and pulling it out of the port. The configuration cable may be discarded. Some steps may be required to set up the camera before installing it in its desired location. These steps are reviewed next. A Vigilon recommends installing the optional microSD card into the corresponding slot before installing the camera in its desired location. It's recommended that the SD card have a capacity of 8 gigabytes or more and a write speed class of 10 or better. If the SD card does not meet the recommended write speed, the recording performance may suffer, resulting in a loss of frames or footage. Note that this camera has two microSD card slots, but currently only supports a single microSD card in either slot for onboard storage. To insert an SD card, position the card as shown. Lightly push the SD card into its slot. The insertion of the microSD card is spring-loaded. Do not use excessive force, or the card and the camera may be damaged. Access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. For more information on this, see the installation guide. The H6A camera models feature an internal microphone and include a switch to physically turn the microphone on or off. The microphone option is not available on the H6X camera models. The microphone should be enabled before installing the camera in its final destination. To enable the microphone option, locate the switch here. The microphone switch is set to off by default. Slide the switch from the default off position to on to enable the microphone. The microphone or line level audio input from the camera can be configured on the camera web interface or in the Avigilon Unity video software. The microphones are configured from the microphone page in the camera web interface. The volume can be adjusted by changing the gain. This feature configures the gain for the microphone built into the camera. External source gain configures the gain for any line level audio input connected to the audio input connector on the I.O. terminal block. Configure the microphone in the dialog box located here in the software. This is accessed through the camera's setup tab here. The volume may be adjusted by changing the gain and linking the audio to other cameras in the site. The external input option configures the gain for any line level audio input connected to the audio input connector on the I.O. terminal block. The internal mic option configures the gain for the microphone built into the camera. The surface mount adapter may be installed using the bottom or side cable entry hole. Let's overview the steps to install the surface mount using the bottom cable entry hole. 
Use this procedure on surfaces easily cut, such as aluminum, and when the cables need to be kept out of sight. First, use the mounting template to drill the mounting holes and one cable entry hole into the mounting surface. The mounting template may be discarded. Next, insert the anchors into the mounting holes. Then, pull the cables through the cable entry hole. Use the supplied screws to secure the adapter to the mounting surface. The following segment will overview the steps to install a surface mount using the side cable entry hole. For this installation, a conduit pipe will be required. This is not included in the camera package. Use this procedure if the mounting surface is not easily cut or cables must be brought in outside the mounting surface. First, use the mounting template to drill the mounting holes and position the conduit pipe according to the template. Next, insert the wall anchors into the mounting holes. The mounting template may be discarded. Use a screwdriver to loosen the side cover on the surface adapter and remove the cover. Select the correct size cover for the conduit pipe and screw it into place. Pull the required cables through the conduit. Drive the screws into the mounting holes to fasten the adapter to the mounting surface. Insert the conduit pipe on the side conduit entry. The next segment will overview the steps to mount the dome camera to the surface mount adapter. Attach the lanyard from the mounting adapter onto the lanyard hook. Let the camera hang. Then, insert the ceiling grommet with the required cables pulled through into this cable entry hole. Let's overview the steps to using the ceiling grommet. Unless specified otherwise, the cables must be pulled through the provided ceiling grommet when using a cable entry hole. First, locate the included cable entry grommet. Then, pull the tab on the grommet to open a hole for the ethernet cable. Push an ethernet cable through the grommet by one of the following methods. If the ethernet cable is uncrimped, push the cable through the grommet. If the ethernet cable is crimped, place the grommet piercing cap on the ethernet connector, then push the cable through the grommet. Ensure that the orientation of the cable and grommet is as shown here. Push any other required cables through the grommet. Install the grommet and cables into the base of the camera. Note that if multiple cables are pulled through the sealing grommet, silicone sealant is required to seal any gaps. For more information on this topic, refer to the installation guide or supplementary video. Once the grommets are installed into the base of the camera, mount the camera using the mounting set screws. In the next segment, let's overview how to connect the cables. The power can be connected using one of two methods. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, connect the devices to the camera's digital I.O. connector block. Connect an external power source to the power connector block. Next, connect a network cable to the Ethernet port. The link LED indicator will turn on once a network link has been established. Check that the connection status LED indicator indicates the correct state. If an H6X camera loses power from the preferred aux power supply, the camera is capable of a seamless failover. For more information on this topic, refer to the installation guide. Before installing the dome cover, the camera must be aimed. When installing an Avigilon video analytics camera, there are mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytic capabilities. Reference the camera's live stream to aim the camera. Loosen the pan and tilt lock screws on the camera. Next, turn the lens in the correct direction by panning and tilting the lens. Rotate the azimuth control ring to set the image to the correct angle. Tighten the pan and tilt lock screws to secure the dome camera's position. For an IR camera, ensure the IR indicators align as shown. The IR LEDs should be set in one of three highlighted positions. In the camera web browser interface or the Avigilon Unity video software, adjust the camera's image and display settings. The zoom position, focus, and image rotation can be adjusted here. Refer to the installation guide or supplementary video for more information. Once the camera is aimed and set, install the dome cover next. There are two dome cover options, a non-IR dome and an IR dome camera. Be careful not to touch or scratch the dome bubble when installing the dome cover. Keep the protective covers on the outside of the dome bubble until the installation is complete. Next, let's overview the steps to install the dome cover for an IR dome camera. Attach the lanyard to the dome cover. Ensure that the camera lens faces the side of the dome cover with the green label. Tuck the lanyard under the dome cover to ensure it's not pinned between the camera and the dome cover. 
align the slots on either side of the camera with the slots on the dome cover and gently slide the dome cover onto the camera. Fix the camera into place by pushing upward on the dome bubble. Hold the camera bubble in place and rotate the rim until the set screws here align with the screw holes shown here. Attach the dome cover to the base by tightening the screws with the star-shaped driver. Remove the protective cover on the outside of the dome bubble. The following segment will overview the steps to zoom and focus the dome camera. Ensure this procedure is performed after the dome cover is installed. This ensures the accommodation for the focus shift caused by the dome bubble. In the camera web browser interface or the Unity video software, use the camera's image and display settings to zoom and focus the camera. Use the zoom buttons here to zoom the camera in or out. Click the option here to focus the lens. Use the focus near and far buttons to adjust the focus manually. Once the camera has been installed, configure the camera. For more information about configuring the camera from the mobile web interface, see the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter System User Guide or reference the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter video. If the device no longer functions as expected, it may be reset to its factory default settings. Next, unscrew the dome cover. First, ensure the camera is powered on. Use the Firmware Revert button located here to reset the device. Use a straightened paper clip or similar tool. Gently press and hold the Firmware Revert button for three seconds. Do not apply excessive force. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. For further information on resetting the camera, reference the installation guide or the supplementary video. That completes the steps to install the Avigilon Unity H6A and H6X dome camera models.